universities, cultural learning centers, and high-tech industries. <clears throat> when I was growing up, naturally, in such an environment, you're always expected to edu uh, educate yourself to the highest level, be competitive, and study really hard. But I was always distracted, or should I say, attracted to sports and the outdoors. So I always enjoyed doing everything other than studying because learning in the traditional sense was something I always derided. So <clears throat> I took part in many sports and cultural activities and literary festivals as, as I was growing up. Basically any activity that allowed me to stay away was something I always wanted to do. There was uh, a time in my, uh, when I was growing up, I used to read the popular book series, Famous Five. I believe many of you might have read them when you were a kid. So what did I do? So I formed a group of friends and we started our own society called the Secret Seven. And what did the Secret Seven do? <clears throat> so our job was uh, really to protect the neighborhood and come up with new adventures and basically play the fool, really. So what we ended up doing was uh, we, we, we had a, a headquarters in a hillock near, uh, near our neighborhood. And uh, we spent hours there discussing about uh, uh, basically Superman stories, really. So, although the club didn't run too long, but we loved uh, living in our fantasies. Uh, as I was a child, you know, I was always passionate about cars, and that passion has lived even today. I took pride in identifying cars just by the sound that they made. And that's a habit I've continued even today, to the utter dismay of my wife. So, <laughs> it's something that uh, she will deride me over for, I guess, the rest of my life. As years went by, life was moving really fast. The internet age was there. There were new avenues of learning and new avenues of information. That got me thinking, what should I do in my life? Because I was at a crossroads where uh, throughout my teen years, I saw technology change my life. So that took me into thinking whether I should study computer engineering. And I believe that's probably one of the best decisions I did. I, I, I took at that time in my life. I took up computer engineering and I worked on a number of projects. And one of the projects that I really enjoyed working on was uh, a software application to basically help deaf people mm -hmm. learn uh, English language. And uh, what it did was, uh, if, you, if, you write a, if you type a sentence in English, it used to translate that to sign language. And I actually saw it in operation when I did some experiments. That really gave me a lot of confidence that you know, being a computer engineer was actually one of the best things I've actually chosen on to do in my life. Apart from engineering and cars and other things, you know, I was very passionate about travel and culture. That brings us to the next vista point of my life. I got an opportunity to intern for a large company in Switzerland, which as you know is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I guess it was my coming of age time, because when I went there, it was a new country, new people, a new culture, and I had the opportunity to travel a lot, make new friends, and undertake new adventures. I traveled all around Europe in trains, and I met a number of strangers, and I had wonderful conversations with uh, these strangers. <laughs> and I still cherish some of those conversations. So I believe all these little points that happen in everyone's life, these little experiences, they probably shape, uh, they probably help you shape uh, your personality. My, tri my trips in Europe took me to the hallways of the Louvre Museum, the beer gardens of Munich, <coughs> and the Alpine glaciers. This was probably the best classroom ever. Experiences are indeed the best teachers. So I thought to myself, how would life get any better? It's already awesome. But then it was about to, because then that brings us to the next vista point of my life. I got an admit from the Georgia Tech University in Atlanta, and that brought me to the United States. I got a chance to study uh, the master's, uh, to get my master's degree in computer science. One of the best things that happened to me at Georgia Tech was that I met my future wife. So that was one of the highlights of uh, my course at Georgia Tech. I believe these days they give out uh, degrees and other things in life too. I, believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I enjoyed working long hours on projects with heavy doses of caffeine. I learned the use of technology to better someone's life. Coming to Silicon Valley was a natural progression after I finished my course at Georgia Tech. I believe I get to work with some of the smartest people in the world in one of the most innovative places on earth. And that has given me a lot of confidence to apply myself to make life better. In conclusion, I consider joining Toastmasters an opportunity to change my life, to change others' lives, and to build on these experiences of life. 
with a humble heart, I pledge to continue my journey forward, to better, my, to better make use of my skills and add a little bit of empathy. I look forward toward building new vistas. Over to you, Madam Toastmaster. Uh -huh.